It's the end of the week and thus it is time to take out the trash. Speaker McCarthy thinks, seems to think that you guys took the bait from the president last night. Did you guys take the bait from him? I didn't take any bait. You know, I'm a representative of the people and that's exactly what I did last night. As a matter of fact, I got so many messages from people in my district and people across the country. It was like I won my election again. You know what? People are pissed off. And for the president of the United States to come into the people's house and lie like he did about the economy, the border, and then act like he's terrified of China and unwilling to talk about the fact they spied on us last night. Yeah, he, he got exactly what he deserved, and I am not sorry one bit. And I don't think Speaker McCarthy is upset with any of us for, for expressing our views and being unwilling to allow the president to lie. What am I going to do? Stand up and give golf claps? No, thank you. I don't clap for liars. Yeah, she, she does frequently, actually. Um, but again, no, she just she thinks that she killed it because there's nothing going on in there. There's no there's no thought process. It is just going to become more just crass and disgusting and pointless. And look, you might say, well, at the end of the day, how much does that actually matter? They don't get much done anyway. And I get it. I have frustrations about that as well. And I have no doubt that she's right that a lot of her fans or whatever enjoyed it too. I'm sure they love if she were to literally ball up a handful of feces and throw it, I'm sure many people would clap for her. And she'd think that she killed that too. I for one think that it's kind of gross that this is you know, the greatest deliberative body in the history of the world or whatever we were told it would be. And it's just devolved to, yeah, she's just gonna be jumping up and down, swearing and shouting and making it even less likely that anything gets done. What do you think, Brett? The Senate's the greatest deliberative body, but only because I mean, they Congress, can talk forever. Yes. But the, yes. the House is supposed to be like the fun one, but this wasn't fun. She's saying that Kevin McCarthy didn't censure her, maybe not formally, but he literally shushed her. He went, shh. Mm -hmm. He was a failure. He looks like looked like such a dweeb. He like would stand. It was not a good shush. It was a horrible. It was like this weird pouty lip. Like shh. <laughs> it's horrible. Orange County. Maybe shush. he should be my garbage person. I mean, yeah, that man's was, a walking golf shush. clap anyway. But uh, yeah, and and in turn, like you just have very simple questions we can ask her. Like, did these balloons fly over America during the Trump administration? Yes. Did he shoot them down? No. Did Biden shoot one down? Yes. If so, what are you complaining about? Oh, just to complain, there's your answer. She looked yeah. insane. I'm glad she did it because she looked in like an unhinged weirdo. And she like yeah. thinks she looks all cool with her like really in interesting looking chinchilla jacket. But everybody that pointed out that she looks like the real housewives is like, yeah, <laughs> absolutely right. I did see that Absolutely. cat meme. That was pretty funny. I think Elon Musk posted it. Anyway, um, yes, and uh, again, she's she learned that Trump had balloons, and she's dispensed it. It's inconvenient, and there's barely room for a couple of facts in her head anyway. So she willingly gave that one up. Uh, the fact that he shot it down irrelevant. He should have shot it down earlier. Why? I don't know. Just because he didn't, and I can criticize him. And they say, well, it could have caused damage. It was so big. She tweeted, "Jetliners have crashed and not killed people on the ground." That's her defense. Great point. Sometimes things hit the ground and don't kill people. So we should take a chance on this killing people. If I handled the situation and nobody died, kind of seems like a win to me. If they shot it down and it landed on someone, do you think Marjorie Taylor Greene would have been like, worth it? Yeah, no. no, she would have defended Biden, I bet. She would have been consistent. Anyway, those are our garbage people of the week, but 47,000 of you voted and here are your garbage people of the week. Coming in at number five with 1% of the vote is Marco Rubio for his ridiculous take on balloon gate. Turns out it all comes down to which state it crosses. Uh, coming in at number four with 4% 4 of the vote is Ron DeSantis for continuing his nonsense war on Disney. We have a tie for two and three at, I'll say three is 70% of the vote. Uh, Ron Mendev for wanting children to work for free lunch, even though that's illegal. At number two, with 70% of the vote, also you do have Marjorie Green for thinking one school in Illinois got $5.1 billion to teach CRT. Number one though, 61% of the vote is the GOP trying to cut entitlements while pretending that they're not. I personally love that that's the one that won and thank you to everyone who voted. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.